Our bridges are our gateway. They're our gateway. They're our identity. Yeah, talk tonight of big improvements on the way for three busy bridges, the McKees Rocks, Fort Duquesne and West End Bridges. The investments totaling $132 million. City of Bridges requires a regimen of constant repairs. Local politicians say they fought for the money and got it. Megan Schiller joins us now with the rehab plans unveiled today. These bridges are old and critical work needs to be done. I mean, look underneath the Fort Duquesne Bridge. Things are circled in bright highlighter colors. And even though our lawmakers did secure more money, two questions remain. Will it be enough money and how long do we have to wait for work to begin? Standing in front of a backdrop of bridges, our politicians say we just secured $132 million to rehab three of them. This is yet another example of our administration's GSD attitude. Uh, get stuff done. I'll let you drop out the stuff. Lieutenant Governor Austin Davis and local leaders asked PennDOT secretary to push that funding reserved for critical projects right our way. He did, but don't expect orange cones soon. Well, there's still design work that has to be done. And so we're, uh, I would measure it probably in months and years and not days and weeks. Former Allegheny County exec Rich Fitzgerald said this money saves us big down the line. These bridges are in, in, in decent condition right now. In a few years, if they weren't in such good condition, you'd start have to weight limiting and restricting things. And boy, would that would that hurt the economy. The bulk of the 132 million will go towards repairing the Fort Duquesne Bridge and then two other 100 year old bridges. It includes $47 million more for the West End Bridge, which will was built in 1930 and last saw a rehab of the main river span back in 1991. And the final 25 million will repair the McKees Rocks Bridge, the longest bridge in Allegheny County that last saw a deck replacement in 1985. Politicians say they are going to continue to push for more funding and get creative when it comes to moving money around. Because if the Fern Hollow Bridge collapse taught us anything, it's that you shouldn't expect it to keep standing if you're not gonna take care of it. Reporting tonight on the North Shore, I'm Megan Schiller, KDK News.